It's no good, Barbara, I must tell you. I know that money is coming to you. Oh, yes. You've been reading the tea leaves? No. No, I was dusting Jerry's study when I happened to break into his desk. <laughs> How can you happen to break into a desk? Well, I was dusting fairly vigorously, and uh, the lock just flew open, and there it was. A cup with the tea leaves in it. Indisputable proof that Tom is doing the freelance work that Andrew offered him. Are you sure? Well, Tom's signature was on the drawings. You don't look very pleased. That's probably because I'm disgusted. But Why? He told me he was round your house putting shelves up. Oh, a little white lie. A great dirty black one. Barbara, there are times when I don't understand you at all. Don't you see what this means? At last, Tom has realised how unfair it is to make you struggle along like some medieval serf. What are you doing? I'm just <laughs> clearing the area. I don't want innocent bystanders injured. I don't understand. Well, let's put it this way. I don't want you seeing the Messiah with Tom's blood splattered all over your dress. <laughs> hello, hello, hello. <laughs> oh, I've just told the generator. She's running like a Rolls Royce. Any, uh, any creaky limbs you want lubricating, madam? Tom? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Those shelves coming along that you're putting up for Jerry. Shelves? Hmm. Oh, the shelves! Oh, great! Great! Ah, oh, oh, no, no, actually, no, no, now I can't think. No. So I'm having a bit of trouble with the uh, angle irons, you see, because the wall's not dead plump, see. But uh, I packed out the battens, so that's all right. Of course, uh, when I come to do the actual beading of the. Ow! That hurts. Good! Ow! What's the game? The game, the one you're playing, taking that job behind my back, you lying toad! <laughs> yes, oh! Now, look, now, there's a perfectly good reason. There is not! <laughs> wanting to take you on that pagan rite we talked about. What? Well, look, this is the first and the last time. It's one job for one reason. You. <laughs> Ow. What's that for? That's for being bloody perfect. <laughs> No, Miss Mountshaft, it is important where I stand for the performance. I am going to stand in the front row. <laughs> I beg your pardon, Miss Mountshaft. I would remind you that I am the only first alto who can hit an A below middle C. <laughs> in addition to which, I am probably the only person in the whole choir to have made anything of those ghastly tents we're wearing. <laughs> no, I have not finished, Miss Mountshaft. Furthermore, let us remember that it is I who supply the gingerbread men for rehearsal tea. <laughs> <laughs> Blackmail is an ugly word, Miss Manshot. <laughs> Thank you very much. I thought you'd see it my way. See you Tuesday, then. Oh, and perhaps we can take that opportunity to discuss who's going to play the lead in The Sound of Music. Goodbye, Miss Marshall. Let all Tom's animals and give them the goater evening milking. Incidentally, the rubber gloves were not appreciated. Nevertheless, I'm glad you wore them, Jerry. We don't want other rash in this house. <laughs> the ordinary people had asked the neighbours round to babysit. I do hope they have a lovely time. Judging from the smirk on Tom's face when they left, lovely time's hardly the word. Could be the seduction of the year. <laughs> Second honeymoon, even. Yes, of course. They're staying overnight at the hotel, aren't they? Yes. Jerry, do you remember ours? Our what? <laughs> Our honeymoon. Oh, yes, of course. You know what I remember most? No, what's that, Jerry? The hotel games room. <laughs> <laughs> Every ping pong ball was cracked. <laughs> but the room, our room, do you remember? 
A lovely balcony with a view over the lake. Yes, it was rather picturesque. It's beautiful. I mean, it's not the sort of thing one packs, is it? Ping pong ball. <laughs> no. <laughs> well, now, what are we going to do with our evening? What would you like to do, Jerry? Well, um, let's see. We could have Ian and Jilly over. Oh, I'd rather not. Never been very comfortable with Ian and Jilly since they started dabbling in those tarot cards. Mm. Hard and Sue. Socialists. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I haven't seen Phil and Linda for ages. Well, they're on their boat. Mark and Babette? Well, they're on theirs. No, Jerry, I wasn't really thinking about people. Oh, you mean just us two? Yes. Oh, right. Restaurants. <laughs> Passacaglia. Oh, no. That's where my Sambuca set light to the tablecloth. <laughs> Juanitos? Well, I'm not really very hungry, Jerry. Silly, this, isn't it? What? I'm seeing it for Tom and Barbara. They hardly ever go out. We know a hundred places and five hundred people. Can't think of a thing to do. <laughs> well, not everything we enjoy is in the address book, Jerry. Oh, I see. <laughs> what a good idea. <laughs> You know, I think gluttony is my second favourite sin. <laughs> oh, definitely. Mind you, what we've had is not the straight out of the ground, no chemical stuff we're used to, is it? No, no, that was jam-packed full of additives. Oh. Fatty acids. Cholesterol. Oh, terribly bad for you. Great, wasn't it? <laughs> Fantastic. You look gorgeous. Do I? It's funny dressing up as a woman again. I haven't had my posh frock on for ages. What's it feel like? Sensuous, I would say, yes. Definitely sensuous. Good. Keep feeling that way till we get upstairs to the bridal suite. <laughs> bridal suite, sir. May I offer my congratulations? Oh, go, Mr. Thomas. He's tumbled us. How are you, I told you before, don't call me Mr. Thomas. The name is John. Sorry. I am Mr. Thomas. Cream trifle for madame? Oh, ta. Only you see, we're not, we're not really married. Maisie, don't talk so much, my dear. We don't want to send the stove back to the furriers, do we? Oh, no, sir. Uh, John. Uh, Thomas. Green <laughs> figs for you, sir. Uh, thank you. Thomas, should I bob him a couple of bob to keep quiet? <laughs> Discretion is our watchword, madam. You want to spend the rest of your life in that typing pool? Oh, no, sir. Look, I tell you what. I'll do anything you tell me to when we get upstairs. <laughs> <laughs> You're rude, you are. Well, if a bloke's going to spend 50 quid on me... Worth it, though, wasn't it? Mm. Oh, was it worth it? Talk about recharging your batteries or whizzing around that garden like an electric eel tomorrow. <laughs> Fifty quid? Yeah, well, that includes the bridal suite, of course. You used to get twice that on a design job. Oh, I'm dearer now. I got two hundred for this one. What happened to the other hundred and fifty? Oh, well, um, I wanted that for something. Oh, yes. I know what, too. When we get home, there are going to be those bills on the doormat with paid, miraculously stamped all over them. You had, Tom, you've lied to me. Doing it for me was just a rotten excuse. <laughs> <laughs> I wanted the extra money for this. Just to say you're the best wife a man ever had. Yes, you do. 